Hello, Just Too Good here. Today we're taking a look at the LEGO Movie 2 Sewer Babies Accessory Pack, which retails for $13 on LEGO Shop at home and has two minifigures as well as two baby figures. Here's the first Sewer Baby. Both have the same body with that printing on the torso, but their head prints are a little bit different. This one has some marking and the missing tooth. Doesn't have any bottom teeth printed. Very adorable little guy. I kind of wish they did give it like an axe head as an accessory because you can clip on accessories to the hands from my understanding. They just didn't include any in this set. But if you wanna know how it also works, you could remove the head, just like a Lego minifigure. And they have a small, small neck right there. And that allows for movement if you wanna tilt it to another side or whatnot. And the difference between this sewer baby is the printed face, which also has a missing tooth, but this time he has little freckles and they show his bottom teeth as well. But that is it for the sewer babies who are exclusive to the set so far. So here is Sharkira. This character comes in the escape buggy set, which is set I don't plan on getting because it's 50 bucks. And so that means it is a cheaper way to get her, but also her prints come in Apocalypseburg as well. Her legs also come in the Battle Ready Batman set. So in my opinion, it's a nice way for me to get that torso and that face since I have not picked up Apocalypseburg yet or the escape buggy. And her back torso printing is pretty neat as well. She does not have an alternate face, unfortunately. One thing that is missing is that in the escape buggy, she has this really cool helmet and they omit that from the set, which makes me kind of sad. And her spear is included as a weapon. The Emmett minifigure of this set is the one that's used in a lot of the promotional sets like the pod, like that magazine I just reviewed. Very, very common. And I kind of wish they gave Emmett a unique expression, but oh well, it's just a reprint of the one I found in one of the sets. And his alternate expression looks pretty scared. And the main build is a ruined car that serves as a bit of a battle station with a front grille design and a little wheel design on the side that give it a bit more of an authentic feel, even though the scale of it is a little bit out of whack compared to minifigures. The actual cover inside doesn't have too much going on, but you could fit Emmett if you'd really want. It'll be a little bit of a tight fit though. And if you want to put the sewer babies on the side ledge, you can do that as well, just kind of putting them on these studs. But it's not the most elaborate uh, build. They do have this little antenna right here, which you can move up and down. And also, there is this uh, crossbow, which you can move around because it is on a one by two jumper. Now, if you press down on the crossbow, it shoots out the side just like that. But that's it for the build of the set. Let's take a look at the instructions and then the final verdict. Well, this is a lifestyle set, so the instructions are just printed on a very cheap leaflet of paper. Nothing too interesting going on here. So overall, this is known as a pack to get the sewer babies, and for good reason. They're really adorable and well-designed, and this is the only way you could get them until maybe summer 2019. We'll have to wait and see. Now, besides them, there's not too much else going on in this pack. Sharkira isn't too interesting, though I haven't gotten her before. She only comes in this set, a $50 set. And then parts of her come in the Welcome to Apocalypseburg. But it's not like the most interesting villager out there. There's a lot of cool ones in the direct-to-consumer Apocalypseburg. And this version of Emmett is so common. I wonder why they chose that and not like a new exclusive print or something. I guess it's a cost-saving measure. The build they give is not satisfying for a $13 set. And a lot of people are just going to buy these for those two sewer babies. Understandable. So I'd rate this one like a C. So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.